Welcome to Caddy Quick Clips, your quick guide to successful drawing and modelling with Caddy. As well as providing us with some great tools for inserting doors and windows, we can also be a little bit more imaginative with the way we ins insert doors and windows using Caddy. Here we have some arrangements with windows in a, uh, a grid formation and the interesting thing about these windows that we'll see is that they have different frame thicknesses based on where they are in the grid. Taking a look at this window combination from a front elevational point of view, we can see that there are actually three different sizes of frames, which would mean that we couldn't use just a standard window because all the frame sizes are consistent around the window itself. So here we're going to use a door window assembly. And in this video, we'll see how we can create one of those to incorporate the three different widths of frame. By simply drawing out the two-dimensional geometry for our overall window, we can quickly identify the individual component windows or DWAs that we're going to create such that we can then assemble them afterwards. It is possible to make an overall DWA, but we'll keep things simple here and just create each individual window as a unit in itself. And of course, that gives us the ability to combine them in any pattern we choose. So here we have our individual DWAs pulled out from our overall drawing and labelled up to show us where they go within the grid arrangement and with some dimensions such that when we place the DWAs we can see exactly how large they need to be. And this quite nicely illustrates the different frame sizes that we need to accommodate. So 25mm at the top and the side, the 60mm at the bottom where we have a, a sill to incorporate as well and then between the windows we have just 4mm on either side, making a, a complete uh, gap between them of just 8mm. And just to make inserting our created DWAs nice and easy within the grid that we have here, I'm going to place a construction point at each particular insertion point. So just choosing construction lines, point, and then using AutoSnap, which is going to select my midpoint for me, so middle length of the line, Choose the, the lines in question, we can zoom in there and there we see we can just place them one by one until we get all the points inserted. To make it easier to understand the relationship between the two dimensional geometry and the three dimensional DWAs that we're creating, door window assemblies, what I'm going to do here is just rotate the two dimensional geometry around the x axis so that we can see it placed vertically. So when we create and place our DWAs within the grid arrangement, we can actually see how they're going to appear. So we're going to the 3D tools, and we're going to use the 3D commands there, and we'll come down the list until, until we see 3D rotate. So here we choose the 3D rotate, and if I just move that out of the way a little, there we can see that we're going to rotate around the WCS axis, which we can see going off in this direction from our uh, indicator points there. And we're going to do a rectangle. And if we look at the direction we're rotating, we're actually going anti-clockwise. So we're doing 90 degrees anti-clockwise with a rectangle. OK, to that, we can simply drag our rectangle around the objects we wish to rotate. So there they're selected. It says indicate the point about which to rotate and using the absolute coordinates we can just type in 0 comma 0 comma 0 and there we have our outlines rotated onto the vertical having established exactly what it is that we need to create as a DWA we can now set about creating that from our AEC tools menu to create our door window assembly we'll choose the AEC drop down and then go to AEC style manager and here we see that we have the architectural objects and on the door window assemblies, and we can expand that with a little plus there to give a, a standard, uh, which is the only DWA door window assembly that we have in our drawing at the moment. We're not going to change standard. We'll leave that in case we want to create any more, which aren't similar to the one we're going to create here. So we'll simply copy that. You see that gives us a copy style, so we can give this a name. So if we say top left, hand and OK that and you see that comes into the, the name slot there. Now the standard arrangement if we go to the design rules 
when you create DWA, it will have a cell count of two. Now that would give us a horizontal division. So if this were the, the window here, it would have a division across the, the center. So we'll just take that down to a single because we only have a single pane window and we'll apply that. And then we also need, if we just take a look back at our reference outline here, we have a frame of 25 millimeters at the top and four millimeters at the side. So we have, if we look at our frames, we just have a default frame, which is set to 50 at the moment. We'll create a new frame. So if we simply call these by the, the sizes that they are, so if we say 25, okay, and then we could also make it 25 mil wide, we can leave the depth the same, we can apply that. We can create another new frame of four, and here we are, we can make that four as well, apply that. And whilst we're about it, to do the, uh, the only other frame we'll need for the whole assembly, which is the 60 mil one, we can create that at the same time. So we'll say okay to that, and then simply change our size to 60 millimeters. Then we can just copy our top left hand frame for all the others and just amend it accordingly. Other things that we may wish to do is just to update the materials because we've now updated our frames and we have 25, 4 and 60 at this moment in time all using standard. So if we click on the field and then simply move up to refine DWA frame and if we do this here then if we copy this particular frame then next time we come to uh, deploy a DWA or a copy of it, it will have these already arranged for us. DW frame, and we'll apply those. Having created our individual frames, we can now go to the primary grid. So this will determine how those frames are arranged within our DWA. Uh, and at the moment, you see under frames, we only have the one, the one frame there, which at the moment is the default frame, which was 50 millimeters, and it's located on every side, so left, right, top, and bottom. So what we need to do for this particular window is create a new frame. And we have our new frame there, and then we can change the frame to our 25 millimeter frame. So just taking a look here, we have 25 millimeters at the top and at the left. So we choose from our drop down here, so we'll do left and top, and then on the new frame assignment, we can go for our four millimeter frame, the one we created earlier, and this will be on the right and the bottom. Bringing that back up, we can now close that, and that will give us our first DWA. Having created our DWA in the AEC Style Manager, we can now go to our AEC Tools, select Door Windows and Openings, and DWA. And here we'll choose the width, which is 579, as we get from our drawing here. We have a height of 1100. As far as the head height goes, we're not inserting the DWA into a wall, so we can ignore that. As we can, the different origins, because center is the default, we're not placing or inserting into a wall. So we'll choose our DWA style. So standard is not the one we want, but in fact, top left hand is the one that we do want to insert which is the one we've just created so okay that and just before we insert it I'm just going to change to 3d mode which will allow me to insert it onto my point there and there is my DWA and we can see here that we have the 25 millimeter frame to the top and left hand side we have the 4 millimeter frame down the right and the bottom and if we orbit our DWA here by placing a finger on the shift key and then just left clicking to give us the view we require, the middle button on the mouse also allows us to rock the view, we can see our DWA in three dimensions. Having created our DWA, you see here that we have just the frames. If we want anything other than the default infill, which is just a simple panel there, we can go back to our AEC style manager and amend that, maybe inserting an opening window for instance. So returning to our AEC drop down for AEC style manager, we can come to our top left hand as we have here and we can go to our design rules and here we see infills 
in fills is set to a simple panel and we can choose to change that so we could choose a style for instance and having chosen style we see that the drop downs become live here so we could go for a window style and here I only have standard but I could choose other window styles that I've created as well but we'll choose standard and we'll say apply to that we'll close and there we see that our DWA now has a window infill. And if we just do an object properties on that, that we have our AEC window as our infill. And in this particular case, the window style is standard. So now we can move to the top middle window. So we'll go to AEC, AEC Style Manager, and we will choose our top left hand and we'll copy that now and we'll call it top M. Now for our design rules here, they're all set, so we have all our frames already set from last time, we have our divisions set from last time too, as we do our infills, which is now a standard window. Choosing our primary grid, we can now look to see which frames we need to employ, so for top and only top, we can choose a 25mm frame. So we'll just choose top there. And then we see that the rest of the frames are just 4mm, so we can choose those for left, right, and bottom. Close that. So that now we can in, in, include our DWA within our drawing, so we'll choose top middle. The sizes are slightly different, so we can choose sizes from our dialogue 558 okay to that and then simply place our window within our drawing and in the same way we can go back to our AC style manager go to top left hand again copy that make that top right hand okay to that and just change our primary grid to suit. So now we have a 25mm frame at the top and right, and we have a 4mm frame to the left, but we also have a 60mm frame at the bottom, so we need to create a new frame. So our new frame assignment here will be a 60mm frame and the location will be just to the bottom. Close that, we can now deploy our top right hand DWA, size is 579, so 579 and the height is 1156. So we'll change our, our height to 1156. Okay to that and there is our top right DWA. And having created our DWAs, we now simply need to arrange them in the grid. So we can select both the window and the dual window assembly, which contains the window. We can right click and we can copy that. And since I located the construction point there to make it easy to, to fill my grid, we can now just jump onto there and insert it, do the same thing again, or of course we could have in included them within our grid at the same time we, we place them here, saving ourselves the job of doing that. But just to illustrate, we'll take the window and we'll take the door window assembly, we'll copy that using our auto snap, which I have configured to pick up the construction point, and then simply snap it into position. And we can continue to do that for all our windows. Having created our arrangement of DWAs, we can now select them and then group them together to make it easy to deploy them within our drawing. So right clicking here, we go to make, and I could group them as a pattern, or here I'm going to group them as a block, which makes it easy to move them around as a single object within our drawing. So we'll call it DWA01, and here it's important to give them a unique name. Here we'll, we'll choose an origin, so we'll pick our origin 
and here I'm just going to choose auto snap and we'll choose top left and we can give it a description too if we wish to and we're going to replace the original objects with our DWA there so we'll OK that. Now returning to our normal working arrangement so back to our 3D tools we'll go for our UCS and set it back to world we can now punch a hole in the wall which we can do using a simple polyline and creating that as a profile and here we'll right click here you see make profile definition and we'll call it DWA profile OK to that we'll give it an origin at the bottom left there and no further outlines to be included so we'll just press return so that's created our profile you'll notice that I've got the sizes marked there so then when we go to the AEC tools door windows and openings create our opening so we have 3310 high by 1716 and we're using that DWA profile so OK to that and simply place it within our wall so there we have it we can now just copy our block so right click copy and if we choose it by the top left for instance we can now just place that into our opening if we wish to move the DWA uh, arrangement within the depth of our wall on our drawing then we can simply select it and using relative coordinates we can say let's just move it from the right click menu so we'll pick it a point and here I have my X Y and Z axis so I want to move it in the Z plane so that will be 0 for the X comma 0 for the Y comma 50 for the Z and we'll see that it moves it forward within our wall obviously you need to take account of where your axes are uh, if you're using a rotated WCS or using the world coordinate system and finally just to highlight the fact that by creating these windows as DWAs we also have the advantage that they will section on our drawings too so here I'm just going to change back to my WCS we can go to uh, plan view so view top view there we are and if we take a section now so with our AEC tools plan sections elevations vertical section which will take through our DWA right click option end look in that direction and we'll place the DWA there and there we see that our DWA appears on our section drawing and of course if we have more windows to place within our wall we can simply create more openings so the size is required and then just copy our block so if we copy it so right click and copy and here I'm just going to choose the bottom corner of the opening there place block into the opening and this of course does give us the advantage as well that when we do our vertical sections here we'll do an elevation we can see that we have Our windows in elevation too. So there we have a very quick and easy way of creating individual DWAs based around a simple 2D drawing of the window that we wish to, to include, arranging them in a pattern that we wish and then copying those into openings that we've created in our wall. You can find more information on Caddy on our website www.caddysoftware.com and check out the Caddy Software channel on YouTube for more tips and tricks on using Caddy.